All right, everyone, the problem says calculate the percent error if the density of alcohol, specifically ethanol, is found to be 0.802 grams per milliliter, but the true value is 0.798 grams per milliliter. So in this problem, we're going to be calculating percent error, and we were given two values. So we were given 0.802 grams per milliliter, and that is what we found. That's what we actually got you know, in lab or real life. So that 0.802 grams per milliliter is what we call our experimental value. So we're gonna abbreviate that as EXP. And then we were also given 0.798 grams per milliliter, which is the true value. So the 0.798 eight grams per milliliter is what the density actually is. So sometimes it's called the true value. I like to call it the accepted value. So I'm gonna abbreviate that as ACC. You may also hear it called theoretical value or maybe the actual value. So any of those terms are talking about the accepted value or what it actually is. So those are the two values that we need to solve for percent error. So in the top right, we have our percent error equation. So let's write that down here. So percent error is equal to a fraction. And on top of that fraction, we have in absolute value bars, you can see here, the experimental value minus the accepted. So experimental value bars, make sure you put those there. We have the experimental value. So that's this 0.802 grams per milliliter minus the accepted, which is the 0.798 grams per milliliter. And then remember your absolute value bars there because we need to take the positive. So that's what is on top of our fraction, and then on bottom is just the accepted value, but also, again, in absolute value bars, because we need the positive. So on the bottom, absolute value, 0 0.798 grams per milliliter, close absolute value, and then all of that times 100, and add the percent sign to make this a percentage. So let's look at solving the top of that fraction. So let's get our calculator. Now if you have a smart calculator like a TI-84 like I have, you can use the math button and then if you go over to number, number one says ABS and that stands for absolute value. So you can hit one or enter to select that and you get absolute value bars. Uh, if you don't have a graphing calculator, you can just take the positive if your answer is negative. So on top of our fraction, we have 0 0.802, and we're going to subtract 0 0.798. Hit enter, and we get 0 0.004. Now, sometimes the formula has the top switched, where it actually has your accepted value minus your experimental. And you can do it that way as well. Just remember your absolute value bars. If it's negative, you need to take the positive. So if you did 0.798 minus 0.802, you'd get negative 0 0.004, which you would just make positive 0 0.004. So on top of our fraction, we're gonna have 0 0.004 grams per milliliter. And then on the bottom, we have the accepted value in absolute value. So we're just going to take our already positive accepted value and write it again. So 0 0.798 grams per milliliter. Okay, and then all that times 100% to turn it into a percentage. So now let's get our calculator and solve. So on top of our fraction, we have 0 0.004.
we're going to divide by 0 0.798 and then multiply all of that by 100. Hit enter and we get 0 0.50125 with some extra digits past that. Let's just round to one significant figure for 0.5. So our answer here is 0 0.5. Five, and for our units in the fraction above, we had grams per milliliter over grams per milliliter. So they're going to cancel because they're on top and on bottom, same thing. And we'll be left with just a percent sign. And that makes sense because we're solving for percent error. All right, there you have it. Calculate the percent error if the density of ethanol is found to be 0.802 grams per milliliter, but it's actually 0.798 grams per milliliter. The percent error is 0.5%. All right, if you wanna see another example, click in the top right. Please like this video if it helped you in any way. Feel free to look in the doobly-doo below for additional help and resources. Please subscribe and ring the bell to get notified for new videos, and thank you, thank you so much for watching.